Well guys, here's my new to me 1983 Toyota RV. It has the uh, four cylinder 222R carbureted four cylinder, 95 horsepower. It's about 17 foot long. Has the four speed manual transmission. Sat for a little while. Overall extremely well conditioned. I think for the year, minus the camper part. But here's the inside. No radio, um, but that's okay. We'll put one in there. No tachometer, but here's the view from inside the cab towards the back. Got the dually rear end. Here's the inside. It was somebody's project and they just lost interest. So the burners are out. We have all those pieces though. Um, definitely gonna redo the floor and probably paint the cabinets. Um, you can see you just letting the air out and opening up all the compartments. Got to refinish up here. It had a small leak in this corner. And uh, you can see it's all dry. It just looks darker. So that's a good thing considering all the snow we've had recently. It's melted and we've had some rain the past couple days. There's no new wet spots in here, so it's a wonderful sign. It has no no refrigerator. The original refrigerator is missing, but that's to be expected. Got to go through all the compartments. Haven't tried any of the electrical in here. Um, the water heater has been taken apart, so it's missing some ends. I've never personally seen um, the Toyota RV motorhome like this before, so this is my first time. I've looked for a little while and there's none local to me, so I jumped on it when I could. There I am. Well, me and the girlfriend, you know, we're going to go through everything, redo it. We're going to try to maybe do a series of videos. If not, it'll be a series of pictures to show the progress that we made. Um, I was surprised how well the four-cylinder actually handled this load. Um, I searched YouTube to try to find a video on the power that the four cylinder had. Um, on my way home, 65 miles an hour, no problem, merged right onto the roads. Um, she'll definitely go faster than that. Uh, I don't know if you would want to. You know, it's, it, it's very narrow and it's tall. So a comfortable driving speed, in my opinion, is about 65 miles an hour. Um, and it had no problem going there. Granted, I didn't take it up any huge mountains. I didn't. Um, I didn't really do much like that. But uh, on one of the roads I took on 23 in Jersey, uh, it's a 45 mile an hour speed limit. People go 65. You have red lights in between, and no problems getting up to speed, stopping for the next red light. It handled it like a champ. I was very impressed. But it did pass in the New Jersey inspection. Granted, I'm in New York, so that won't do any no good for me, but I am officially the third owner. That's it for now, guys. Let me know what you guys think and uh, what you guys would like to see, and I'll uh, try to get videos to you.